Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, consider subscribing, press the notification icon below. You'll always be the first to know when I upload a new video. Share, comment in the subsection below. You'll always be the first to know when I upload a new video. How has the state of Qatar confronted the COVID-19? Let us look at the largest campaign, the largest vaccination campaign in the history. Qatar confronts the COVID-19 with the largest vaccination campaign in its history. Doha, with the acceleration of the pace of vaccination programs against the COVID-19, Qatar continues to fight the virus by implementing the largest vaccination campaign in its history for the citizens and the residents of the country, free of charge. The state of Qatar ranks among the top 10 countries in the world compared to its population and it is also among the countries that have the lowest death rates in the world due to the quality and excellence of the healthy sector system in the country. Nearly 9 out of 10 people over the age of 60, which is the group most risk of disease, received at least one dose of the COVID-19 vaccine, while nearly 8 out of 10 people in the group got both doses. The number of vaccination doses that we are given to citizens and residents of Qatar until the mid-May 2021 exceeded two and a half million doses, while more than 170,000 people have received at least one dose of the vaccine so far, with about 35,000 doses during only 24 hours. About 50. 2% of the adult population in Qatar has received at least one dose of the vaccine so far, while 36.5% of the adult population has received both doses of the vaccine. Vaccination against the virus is provided in Qatar through 35 centers and some drive through vaccination centers in specific areas, which cater for the people receiving their second dose only which helped to expand the acceleration, the vaccination campaign. Remember, the state of Qatar was one of the most, the first countries in launching the national vaccination program as the vaccination campaign against the virus was launched in December 2020 after the Minister of Public Health approved the Pfizer Biotech and Moderna vaccines for the emergency use, which are the two vaccines that are proven safety and effectiveness. However, based on the belief that the antivirus vaccination remains the most effective way to deal with the virus, as on May 17, 2021, the Ministry of Public Health launched a campaign to vaccinate children between the ages of 12 to 15 with the Pfizer Biotech vaccine after being approved, being approved by the CDC, that is the Center for Disease Control. Ah, we remember the state of Qatar also gave priority to vaccinating teachers in order to ensure the continuation of the education process and to ensure that students continue their huge and usual course of lessons, especially through the blended learning, which was largely applied during the second wave of the virus as it is combined, combined distance learning with school attendance through the introduction of a specific intake of total capacity per education facility. As per the Ministry of the Public Health, it has been able to give the coronavirus vaccination to a large percentage of teachers and administrators in school, as the state of the Qatar is also one of the first countries to vaccinate education and administrative cadres in schools. The Ministry of Health also gave priority to health workers to take the vaccine due to the important role they entrusted with providing treatment to patients and ensuring the progress of the health care. The vaccine was also given to frontline workers in many ministries and state institutions. In addition to the national program for vaccination against the coronavirus, the state of Qatar has taken many preventive measures that have contributed to limiting the spread of the virus. Remember, 
as a precautionary step. The Ministry of Public Health allocated four hospitals to treat those infected with the virus. In addition to allocating a fellow hospital, especially during the beginning of the first wave of the virus, it also adopted an effective program to examine people, detect infected cases and follow transmission chains of the virus, which contributed to the significantly reduced its spread. By May 24, 2021, the number of people who were tested reached more than 1,990,000 1, people, while the number of daily tests to detect the virus reached about 15,000. Remember, during the pandemic, the state of Qatar has implemented a comprehensive strategy to protect the population from the threat of COVID-19 and to provide a high quality health care services to all citizens free of charge. Qatar has also adopted a comprehensive approach at the level of all state institutions while implementing effective governance policies relying on science and facts and engaging the public in addressing this pandemic. The healthy system in the state of Qatar has demonstrated its resilience during the pandemic and it has developed an effective emergency preparedness plans and responded to this challenge without determination and commitment. Since the start of the pandemic, the Minister of Public Health has launched special support and assistance hotline that provides inquiries and instructions about the virus. In addition to providing remote medical consultation services in many medical specialties, the Ministry also provided mental health services as it launched a support line providing psychological counseling to people who feel anxious due to the current situations, especially for children, the elderly and the healthy care workers. Remember, in addition, the Ministry of Public Health in cooperation with the Hamad Medical Corporation, the Primary Health Care Corporation, launched a watch, a web page for COVID-19 that provides the population with a reliable and accurate source of information about everything related to the virus. The decisions, however, taken in order to confront the coronavirus were guided by the scientific approach and evaluation of doctors as innovative decisions were applied in the field of the pandemic control in line with the international practices and protocols, for example, the period of isolation of the infected, the time criteria for ending the isolation, and the use of the viral road to guiding managing infected cases. Remember, the scientific approach and optimal use of the resources along with the research conducted by the doctors and researchers in Qatar and published in the prestigious scientific journals has enabled the local and international efforts to combat the virus, including the researchers that dealt with the effectiveness of the vaccine against the new strain and the duration of the humanity. The strategic plans of the state of Qatar in response to COVID-19 pandemic has been extremely successful. As a continuation of the vital facilities to operate has been harmonized with imposition of the flexible restrictions that have largely prevented the further spread of the virus. During the first wave of the pandemic, Qatar thanks to the preventive measures and the restrictions imposed, was able to avoid recording 1 million additional virus infections among the population of Qatar. According to the chair of the National Strategic Group on COVID-19, in order not to, to harm the economic sectors as a result of the pandemic, the state of Qatar announced during the first wave a package of economic measures to support the private economic sectors. The state announced 
a support package of worth Qatar Real 75 billion to face the economic and the financial repulsions on the business sectors. And this support continued, especially the second wave. Still, when we look at the other developments that were being done, the Minister of also Public Health also launched what we call the Ethras application on smartphones that has been developed to protect the society from the spread of the COVID-19. The application tracks the transmission chain of the spread of the virus, provides users with accurate information and helps specialized medical teams to provide health care when needed. It also alerts the community members if the case of the coronavirus is detected. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Stay tuned for more.